All right, hi Capricorn. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. All right. Um, if this resonates with you anytime, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, guys. Helps my channel grow. Helps this video reach out to other Cappies like you. So thank you for your likes. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot. Subscribe to my channel for your next 48. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. Some things that I say um, may not resonate with you, but it may resonate with another Capricorn watching, okay? Um, if I say anything that just doesn't apply, let it fly and don't shoot the messenger. Don't get mad at me, okay? Um, also, if this does resonate with you, which it should, and if you want to book a personal reading with me, you like my vibe here, you want a personal, all the information's in the description box down below on how you can book on my website um, to do a personal reading, okay? Also, guys, um, all my social media links and also my link to my second YouTube channel is in the description box. If you want to shop my store, that's going to be the first link in the description box. I have a lot of new items, plus a lot of my old items are back in stock. Everything is fully stocked. Um, one of my new items is this tarot pendant necklace. I'm wearing the moon card version of my necklace. I have different designs. You can click on the link in the description box to see my other designs for this. I love it. Also wearing the Sodalite Chopper bracelet right here that has the horseshoe. I love the horseshoe. And then my um, Aquamarine and Lapis Lazuli Chakra bracelets that also have the Evil Eye Hamza hand. And those are all on my website. First link in the description box. So let's get started. Capricorn, let's get your advice for the next 48 hours, shall we? Okay. Thank you for your patience, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's see what's going on, Capricorn. What's going on, Capricorn? What's their advice for the next 48 hours? It's okay to st start the fuck over if you have to. I'm feeling like, did this come out already for you guys, Capricorn? I feel like this came out already. It's okay to start the fuck over if you have to, okay? So I feel like that came out for you already, but like in an old reading, okay? So anyway, a lot of you guys, and you know what? Let's just get into your reading. I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to get started. Let's get into the tarot, right? Let's see what your major arcana is crowning your reading today. What's the major arcana crowning my Capricorn's reading today? Yeah, brand new is playing for you. Like, literally, it's okay to start the fuck over. It's okay to start brand new. Spanking fresh. Hot off the bun. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What comes out for you? The moon card. Okay, you have the moon card upright. And you also have the judgment card. Okay. Is this upright? I don't know. I think this is upright too. Hmm. It's kind of about with the moon card and the the judgment card being here. It's kind of like trust in God. Whatever decision God is like trying to force into your life. Like literally, I feel like things have just been happening that you have not approved of. And you're just like, what the fuck is going on? And it's really because God is or divine is um looking after you and really trying to like um i feel this like forced energy of things changing in your life and you may not be ready at the moment but it's for your best interest okay so let's get into the tarot let's get into the tarot okay so let's see cap let's see you guys are first on the list today then i'm gonna do libra after you guys but yeah i'm starting off with my cappies with your fresh fitted cap, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. All right, eight of wands. Yeah, so this is fast moving energy and it's all hitting you at once and you're like, what is going on? Seven of pentacles, okay? It looks like you're trying to decide something, whether to invest in something, do something for yourself. Nine of wands, it's not easy. It's not easy, all these changes coming towards you. You feel like you don't have a lot of support at this time, too, and you feel like people can see you struggling, okay? I feel like this is the image that you're perceiving, though. Like, people don't see you. Like, however you're seeing yourself right now in whatever, if you're looking at yourself in a negative light, but you're trying to stay positive, but you feel like the outside world is looking at you or judging you, they're not. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, give it some time. I feel like you feel like a lot of people are, like, laughing at you, judging at you, judging you. I was going to say judging at you. Um, and yes, they could be, but I feel like it's not as bad as you think, okay? So you have a little sense of paranoia around you, but I think it's because you've been through so much in the last couple of months. This Nine of Wands energy has really shown me that wounded warrior energy. But even if you do feel this way, I want you to just throw it quickly out your mind. I'm really seeing Capricorn, and forgive me 
if I have someone who is a hater of a Capricorn cross watching, I don't know why I have to apologize for that, but this is the world we live in now. But forgive me for saying this person, but I feel like all these people who are judging you are bums. So why do you care what they think about you, Cap? Honestly. Okay. What's Eight of Wands, please? What's Eight of Wands? Okay. Eight of Wands is a Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. Okay. Interesting. What's the Seven of Cups? This is very um, interesting. It's like as if you don't even know how many choices you have here. Yeah, the King of Swords. You have so many choices that you can make, Capricorn. You don't even understand. And this is the thing, too. I see you're being tested at this time. It's like God is forcing things out of your life, but God is also trying to show you that you have free will and that the every decision you make will shape your life. And so it's like a door is closing. But it's like literally the door is a revolving door and it's like certain decisions are coming back to you that you've already decided on in the past or God has forced out of your life. So it's like literally, like this is an example, okay? So it's like um, maybe you're dealing with someone. Uh, we'll, we'll just do a friend. It doesn't always have to be about love, right? Maybe you had a friend who wasn't your best interest and you knew that you needed to um, cut ties with your friend, but it's super hard to cut ties with someone who is not physically doing anything wrong to you, even though that's some of your stories where someone was doing something wrong to you. But some of your stories is just that someone's views about life and morals and um, goals are not aligning with yours and it's holding you back in life. And that's a reason to cut someone off. And it's super hard to do so, you know, but... Out of nowhere, God just shook some shit up and this person just in you had to stop talking or they stopped talking to you, right? And it was super weird, but you realized the time that you were away from this person, you would accomplish so much more in all that in a little bit of time that versus the long years that you've been friends with this person, okay? Now divine did that right divine was like no no no. you're not listening you're not making a decision quick enough i'm gonna make it for you tower moment right but then guess what divine does divine sends this person right back into your life six of cups and they're like okay now you make the decision you've seen the progress now you make the decision are you going to take this person back into your life or are you going to keep moving forward it's really effed up because it's like, okay, you already made a decision for me. Why even give me the chance to make this decision again? Because some things are like the devil card, which is your energy, Capricorn. But some things are like temptations, right? It's like, oh, it's tempting because I had so much fun with this friend. But I've accomplished so much in this little bit of time without being around this friend. That's what I see here. So it's happening all at once. It's friends coming back in your life that you haven't spoke to in like a couple months. It's lovers. It's... um certain things you know like for you to like purchase or trips people like people are really tempting you right now and it all feels good it's good feeling the six of cups right and it's like king of swords you have to make this decision are you going to accept these things what's the six of cups even though they could have been ripped from your life already but spirits literally saying you do the math you do the science and this time without this person in the short amount of time you accomplish so much here they come are you gonna take it again you know, super confusing. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, right? So you literally have to make this decision with your mind and not your heart. And it's so hard. Capricorn, usually when uh, things that you don't care about, that's easy. You can go your day-to-day -day life making decisions all the time with your mind. But when it comes to people, places, things that you do care about, super hard. And I feel like this is the hardest thing for you to do right now. What's the Seven of Pentacles? It's like the moth to the flame. It's like you're the flame. There's so many moths. And it's like, oh my God, you know, I'm so happy to see these people back in my life or these things, but it's not good for me, right? Because when the moths go to the flame, it dims the, the flame's light. You understand? So it's like, are these moths really good for me? Yeah, they give me so much attention, but are they good for me? They're dimming my light. Okay, what's the seven of, of pentacles? <laughs> These moths are attaching themselves onto you, right? So the seven of pentacles, three of swords, super heartbreaking to make these decisions because you're making, I feel like you're going to make the decision that's best for you, right? And it's like, oh my God, oh my God, this is so tempting. I really want to be with these people. I really want to invest in this. I really want to try this again, but I know I shouldn't, three of swords. And it, it's heartbreaking to say no to people that you love, but you have to do what's best for you. It's a justice card, okay? 
it's like, okay, you know, justice is also no feelings attached, you know? Sometimes you got to make decisions that are heartbreaking, but you have to do what's right. And that's the justice card. You have to be true to yourself. You also have the eight of swords here. So overwhelming as well. And even making these decisions don't make you feel motivated. You're like, okay, taking these temptations out of my life, these people out of my life should make me feel motivated, have a surge of energy, make me feel like I did the right thing, made the right choice. No, it doesn't always go that way. Sometimes you feel regretful. Sometimes you feel this three of swords energy where it's just like, Oh my God. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. My mom's calling hey, what's me. What's the Nine of Wands? Give me the Nine of Wands. We're clarifying the Nine of Wands now, okay? So, what's the Nine of Wands? Thank God I didn't start and I looked at the camera. I seen that the light was off. Okay. All right. So, Page of Swords, okay? Hmm. Seems like from speaking your truth, people are excluding you from certain situations and it seems like they're judging you or just being very. Haterish, bummy, bum like. These are the bums I was talking about. Okay, the Nine of Wands is here as well. All right, give us some time, Capricorn, because it's kind of like, you know, I'm really getting like celebrity vibes, especially with the chariot, which is cancer vibes. You know, cancer. Chariot's on the bottom here. You see? And, um, chari little, uh, chariot. Cancer rules celebrity. And I'm really getting. You're on the rise here, Cherry. It's all about moving forward. You have a lot of things coming in for you, really good things, okay? And you're just moving forward and people see that and people hate on that. So the same thing with celebrities, you know, it's like cancel culture, right? And like they'll cancel you one day, but then they'll love you again. So that's the thing. Just give it time, nine of wands. These same people who are judging you that are bum-like, I'm sorry to keep calling them bums, but that's literally what I'm seeing here. And... um hating on you for being successful for keep going it's kind of like as if you took a loss recently capricorn and people are like oh my god look at capricorn trying to keep pushing forward after they took that loss they're a loser they don't they could never succeed but you know that you can you know god's plan for you and so it's like you know just give it some time these people are going to be your supporters one day or your fans okay because i don't even i don't even want to call these people your supporters i'll just call them fans and it's all because you spoke your truth here. The, um, what is this? The Page of Swords? Okay. <laughs> and then the devil is here. Yeah. That's, this was definitely you. If you think about it, the devil's tongue. The devil's tongue is not a nice tongue, right? It's very truthful. Just like God's tongue. If you think about God's tongue, it's very truthful. But it's also, um, God's tongue is more comforting. The devil's tongue is not. So whoever you spoke your truth to or whatever you said or whatever you did that was your truth, it wasn't comforting the people. You didn't you didn't like nurse these people, you know, while you were saying it or while you're doing what you're doing and they're mad about that. You know, people hate when you just be real with them sometimes. People don't like real anymore. That's the, that's the kind of world we're going into where people they want to be coddled or you have to like be censored. Like censorship is literally mark my words. And in the next like 25 years, censorship is going to be like a thing. Like even though our constitution rules against that and it's like you're not supposed to be censored, you can speak freedom of speech. I I promise you like the way that the world is going, you're going to have to censor what you say because people have, um, you know, I, I do care about people being offended by things, but I feel like it's freedom of speech. Like, even if you're free, like, as long as it's not like racism, sexism, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's not excluding another, um, like, race or gender or, like, um, group, that's fine. But if you can speak about how you feel and certain people are just, like, into it, like, say... I don't know. I don't want to get into it, but censorship is like what these people are mad about, that you didn't censor what you said. You said it like blatant and raw. People are mad about that, but they're also going to be supporting you for the same thing in a in a few months. Okay, what's the nine of wands? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to get into my like conspiracies, guys, but that's who I am. Yeah, the ten of swords. All right, so within, you know, it's so fucked up, um, Cap, I don't want to say this, but you know, I got to be real. Nine of wands, it's going to take some time for these people to support you or just be nicer to you or not feel like you're the outcast and during this time you are going to be hurting you're going to feel lonely you're going to feel like you don't trust anyone or you can't trust anyone or people are just you know 
assholes. But after that, it's the Ten of Swords. The Ten is the very end, okay? The Ace, number one, is the beginning. So there's going to be a new beginning here, but it's going to take some time and it's not going to feel good. Bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. Just be loving to yourself throughout this whole time. Also, the Eight of Cups is because you're choosing to walk away from a certain group. Say you used to do drugs, okay? And I'm sorry to just put this... Because I know it's been like a damper, right? And I don't want to put this negative energy on you, but I'm really getting this message say you used to do a certain type of drug that was a hard drug and you decided to walk away from these people and you were like okay listen i can't i love you guys but i can't hang around you guys because all you guys do is drugs i'm trying to stop doing drugs i want to move forward i want to change my life i'm actually very talented and very um educated that i could be doing so much more with my life and there's nothing wrong with this drug but when you do it so much it, without moderation your life will get fucked up and i have to walk away i literally see those people like judging you because you decide to be better for yourself and they're judging you for the same thing that they're doing so say you're like an addict of some sort we're not going to say what kind of drug because it's not important but like it could even be marijuana but i'm thinking harder drugs right and it's like they're judging you because you decide to get off of what they're on. So because you're not doing that anymore, you're choosing to be better. They're like, oh, she'll be back. Like, why are you wishing that on me? Now, it doesn't have to be drugs. It could be anything that just was super... It could be drinking. It could even be drinking. It could just be anything that used to just get you, like, super off of your own goals, you know? It could be, like, a movement. Like, say you were in a group that used to, like... um protest it can be protesting literally and you're like listen i love protesting for this cause but i've missed days of work and i know i could have been like a supervisor by now and i need to just go do that or you know this is taking time from my school and i need to focus because i have i can't my grades are slipping because of this i have to go and they're like judging you for it so whatever fuck these people yo <sighs> anyway moving forward capricorn <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just feel like people, these people are I'm sorry I already called them out I said they're bums I said fuck them that's how I usually feel okay like this is how I really really feel about these people like I don't know what's I don't know what these people are like hating on you for it's because you quit something that they are not they don't have the strength to quit that's it let's move on to your homeboy homegirl I don't want to harp on this energy anymore any other messages for Capricorn's homeboy, homegirl, please? Any other messages? Bills is playing for your, your homeboy, homegirl. So this is your romantic interest. I have a feeling that you used to live with your romantic interest or used to be on top of things. You used to be on top of the bills. This person is having a hard time staying on top of their own bills. This person could have even told you when you were leaving or you were on your way out the door. Oh, you can't make it without me. You need me. But really, they needed you, so they were projecting on you. Oh, Cap, I didn't even pull your last messages. I'm all out of whack because the fucking camera um stopped and it got me out of my groove so let's get your last messages before i move on to your homeboy homegirl i have all the cards laid out but we're gonna get your last messages sorry cap i'm so sorry all right capricorn last message last messages for capricorn before i move on to their homeboy homegirl give me some cards please uh-oh come on now last messages for capricorn's homeboy homegirl give me some cards Last messages for Capricorn's homeboy, homegirl. Give me some card spirit, please. Oh, sorry. I said for there. Last messages for Capricorn. My mind is all over the place. Okay, Cap. Okay. Oh, okay. I think that's it. That's so many cards. You make me happy, okay? You know what's so crazy, too? Some of these friends family members whoever these people are the bums that i was talking about who are mad that you're moving away from them you know why they're mad capricorn because you actually were the sunshine of the group you make these people very happy that's why they're mad you're taking their happiness away by taking your energy away they hate that big following remember i said something about being a celebrity okay so you could have a big following capricorn or you're making a big following these people or you have followers that are mad that you don't want to do it's kind of like, <laughs> should I say that? Should I say that? I shouldn't say that. Okay, I'm not going to say it. I miss you. Yeah, these people will miss you when you're gone. 
I'm hearing that song by Drake, and I did reference um, another Drake song, so he could be doing the Scorpio. But you know that song by Drake? It's an old song. It's like, I know that you miss me whenever I'm gone. That's what I'm hearing. True love, your soulmate, okay? Hmm, that's interesting. So you were someone's true love or their soulmate, but they just couldn't stand the test of time so you had to walk away from this person so that's why it hurts so much it could be a lover that you had to walk away from you love this person but they won't change they're very stagnant they stay in the same place it's very hard alcoholism okay this could have been something that was holding you back that you had to walk away from and someone else is stuck in this disease because they say alcoholism is a disease it's an addiction, okay? I don't know what they mean by disease. That's what the doctors say. Like, what is that? You know what I think about that? I think they say it's a disease to pe make people think that they can't fight it. You can fight it if you want to. It's a, it's a choice, right? But they say alcoholism is a disease. It's not a disease. <laughs> like, it's a, it's an addiction. It's hard. But you can change that. And when doctors do that, they even do that with depression. They say it's, depression is a disease. Okay, we're not going to get into that. I don't know why I'm all into my conspiracies today. Anyway, but it's not, honestly. You have to work hard to get out of it. It's an addiction, okay? Honestly. Juggling partners. There we go. So this could be you, Capricorn. I mean, saying you got, you got, you got hoes in different area codes is that you not my type one of these partners is not your type so you're walking away and they're making fun of you for walking away okay what else is here i'm not letting this go hmm so it's hard for you to let go of this these people or the situation that you found comfort in for so long all right now we're on to your homeboy homegirl what is this All right, so your person has the Eight of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, and then we also have the Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Bottom of the deck says what? The Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, let's get the Major Arcana crowning their reading. I hope this is not long because whenever I have to split up the reads, I always go longer than usual because I can't see the real time. So hopefully this is not too long. I think it's going to be a long reading cap, but I don't think you guys mind. Give me the Major Arcana crowning Capricorn's um, homeboy, homegirl, please. Whew. All right, let's see. All right, we have the Justice card upright, okay, but the Empress in reverse. Someone's too spoiled to give you justice in a situation. Someone's too about themselves to give you justice in a situation. If you have pulled your love back from someone... They don't want to give you justice. This could be a baby mom, baby dad. When I'm getting Capricorn, I'm going to be make this really quick. It could be a baby mom, baby dad, because you're not loving on them anymore and you don't live in the same household as them. They don't want to do right by their child. This is also someone you probably was married to because of the justice card, right? Because you're not no longer giving them the goods. They don't want to do right by you and, and split the costs in, in half or give you your worth or be nice to you in a certain way. This is anyone. This could be your boss. This could be your coworkers, your friends, because you're no longer giving someone what they thrive for, what they love about you, what they what made them feel comfortable, and you pulled that energy back. They don't want to do right. That's life, right? So what's the Eight of Pentacles? So I see someone working extra hard. Even it seems like even it seems like when you left somebody, you made them like okay. It seems like if you left this person, Capricorn, this is for the Capricorns who left this person behind and this is the person I'm talking about. They've been working extra hard since you left. So it was actually a good thing for them. In in a way, like you showed, okay, I don't know if you were working extra hard in this relationship and you left and then this person is now working extra hard or they could want to work things out with you. But let's see, what's the Eight of Pentacles? Or it could be both, right? But what's the Eight of Pentacles? Looks like this person is working hard. Yeah, the Six of Swords. So... After losing you and through their healing process, someone's a workaholic, but it's actually good for them because they need to work more. <laughs> Say the pentacles. Okay, the nine of pentacles. Yeah. So this person's single and all they do is work, which is good. I feel like it's good for them because their bills was not being paid. So someone can use this extra money to pay off their bills, pay off their debt is what I'm hearing. What's the six of swords? All right, the queen of cups. Okay. Someone is still thinking about, you know, 
how kind and loving you were to them. They're trying to move forward from this. I'm hearing best you ever had. I don't know why I'm hearing so much Scorpio vibes. If you're dealing with a Scorpio Capricorn, please let me know. Because it's like, why am I referencing Drake so much? What's the Nine of Pentacles? I'm going to try to hurry up because I think I'm running over time. All right, the Strength card it could be a Leo, okay? It could be a Virgo here with the Nine of Pentacles as well. But this is someone trying to hold back and work a lot okay so somebody wants to hold back i don't even feel like this person is dating maybe because they're still hung over you a little bit but they distract themselves by working hard what's the page of wands page of wands please ace of wands okay so good news this person wants to deliver you good news that they want to start fresh with you by okay and nine of cups and this person is very fun to be around you know what I'm getting? Two people who are toxic when they're with each other, but when they're away from each other, they thrive. Doesn't mean that you or this person are toxic people. Just means that you guys do toxic things together, okay? And, you know, I feel the stress because it's like we love being around each other, but we don't get shit done when we're together. The most that you and this person have gotten done is away from each other. It was actually a good thing, the separation, which sucks because you guys have the most fun together, but y'all don't get nothing done in y'all personal lives. All your goals are to the wayside. This person does want another chance. This is the kind of person who doesn't care. They're like, okay, yes, I, I've, I've been working good. My money's great, but I still want to be back with you. And Capricorn, I see you being like, okay... I would, I would love to be back with you too, but I think I need to focus on what's good for me, which is my life. I don't, what's Ace of Wands? I can tell this extended is going to be good, guys. Like I can, I can already tell this extended is going to be good. All right, let's see. Knight of Wands is here, okay? So somebody wants to get back together quickly. It's like even like this person might reach out to you and say, hey, Capricorn, let's hang out. Nine of Cups, please. And then you do. And then it's like, you guys have such a great time. They're like, oh, we need to get back together. And it's like, no, 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 no. Let's take things slow. Yeah, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my God, this person was waiting for you to just say, let's hang out. So you hang out with this person. It's a great time. And this person feels like that's a sign that you guys need to get back together. And you're like, that's a sign that we're good friends. <laughs> it's like, it's a sign that we, yes, we have fun together, but... What about our goals? Don't forget about your goals, right? For you and this person, if this person is watching right now, think about how much you would accomplish when Capricorn was out of your life too. Like, put yourself first. There's something bigger here than just, you know, having fun with Cap, okay? What's the five of wands? Because I feel like when you and this person get together, y'all forget about everything else in life. It's so magnetic, it's so addictive that you guys forget about everything. What's the five of wands? The Knight of Swords, okay? What else? So this person has a hard time expressing themselves as well. I don't know why when they already are so head over heels. So this is the kind of person too. Oh, okay. Hmm. It could also be that you hung out with this person one time, Capricorn, and you didn't come back around after. And this person is like mad at you for not wanting to hang out again or taking your time. It's like someone who wanted you to come back the day after y'all hung out. And you're like, no, I can't do that. Yeah, okay, what do we have here? The Page of Swords. So, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. Somebody wants to communicate with you and it just brings an argument. So maybe when it's, this is someone who was, who overthinks what they're about to say. So they could have said something that was super like mean. And it's like, why did you say that? They say that out of missing you, Capricorn, but they, they have their, they have their um dictation all the way fucked up. Like the way that they express themselves is really fucked up. And when I say they have a hard time expressing themselves, this person knows how to speak. They just, when they want to say something sweet, they say something sour, if that makes sense. What's the Knight of Swords? We're going to get this person's last words. I'm sorry if this is so long. I'm so sorry. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to express how much they love you, how much they want to be with you and see you again, but they end up saying some bullshit. It's like somebody, it's like, okay, say say me and you, say I'm your person, Capricorn, and me and you had a wonderful night, and it's been a long time since I've seen you, and we were both, you know, thriving. And then this person, like, I'm like, damn, Capricorn didn't want to see me again. Like, the way I was filming was like, oh, let's just go back to our old ways. Let's just see each other again the next day. And you might say, no, I can't. So instead of this person just saying, oh, okay, I understand. 
we'll let's plan something for next week because I really enjoyed your energy and I just want to see you again and let's just you know do something regularly this person is like oh you're a bitch you don't want to see me the next day you must be fucking the whole town like it's something nasty like that if someone says instead of just saying what they mean the ten of cups what's the page of swords someone wants to move forward but they self-sabotage what's the page of swords page of swords please page of swords Four of Wands, yeah. You know, all of this is because somebody wants to get back in with you or they want to get back together or they want to move back in or they just want to be in one unit again. But I think that you know that it's not the best for you and you're making a decision that's best for you this time around. And it's just, it's very tricky. So we're going to get this person's last words. We're going to go on to the extended reading. In the extended reading, of course, we're going to go deeper into this person's energy and see what the outcome will be between you guys if you're interested, okay? Let's get these per this person's last words, Cap. Any last words for Capricorn's homeboy, homegirl, please, Spirit? Any last words? I never met anyone like you. Okay, that's real. Capricorn, that's true. Okay, so what came out first? I don't know. I'm just going to start with this. I'm no good for you. So this person knows that they're not good for you. They know. I want a family with you. Okay, but this person does want a family with you, though. They want to build something secure with you. They want to build something. We have other after that, kids. You and this person could have kids together. This could be the your child's father, child's mother wanting to be a relationship again. You're like, no, I don't think that's going to work out for us. But they could feel like it is. Car secrets, okay? There could have been a car meeting between you and this person. There could be something secretive that happened in the car, like sex. Some, you could have found something in someone's car when you were in their car. They could have found something in your car. All right, sex could be better. I don't know if this person feels this way about you, Cap, or they know that you feel this way about them, okay? I'm in love with you, okay? Mm. Oh, gee, oh my God, okay? Hot shit as well, hot shit. So this person could either feel like they're hot shit, they're all that in a bag of chips, or they could feel like you are hot shit, okay? And then this is the last message. I checked your phone. So someone could have checked your phone, checked your car, or you could have did this with this person, okay? And you found out a lot of things. So I'm going to take this extended. If this was your reading, please thumbs up the read, comment the moon down below for a dream, and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. If you want a personal, all the information is in the description box. If you want to follow me to your extended reading, that'll be in the description box as well. We're going to go deeper into this energy. Um, also, guys, if you want to shop my store, it's going to be the first link in the description box. I have a lot of new stuff, as you see. Any of these bracelets I'm wearing today, you can find them in my store. First link in the description box. I love you, Cappies. And I'll see you in your next one. All right, bye-bye.